Hi, I'm back again with more tips on using the EXS24 sampler in Logic. Um, uh, I showed you in my last uh, two videos. This is my third video. The uh, ins and out of the EXS24 sampler. Um, basically, we're going to go on the surface of the EXS24 sampler today. First off, this is the LCD screen, which allows you to um, basically, if, once you have your sample banks loaded in there, Go to your uh, and you can basically go to your sample banks that you already have and load them onto your EXS24 sample by using the LCD screen. Also, you can also uh, access your uh, sample banks too by going to media. And this is the library for all this for all the factory sample for all the samples basically that are in this instrument, from the songs to your sample banks to your instruments that are in that are uh, in Logic Express already or Logic Pro. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys if you want to get that Kanye effect on your uh, samples or speed up your sample I should say basically turn up your tune that allows the sample to be sped up. I'm gonna play it in this, at its regular speed first so you can see, hear the difference. If you wanted to get that uh, that uh, DJ screw, uh, screw effect or slow it down, as they say, go to opposite direction. You can also uh, adjust the polyphony, and what polyphony means is uh, the number of notes that play at a certain time. In my first video uh, that I made, chopping samples made easy. Um, basically, I explained that you would have to adjust it by going all the way into your piano roll screen. That's not necessary to do, but I'll show you once again what I mean by that. If we go to groups and we go to voices, that's the number of voices that are playing at a certain time. So basically, if you have more than one voice, it's set at max, basically is what it's saying. You have more than one voice talking at a time. It's the simplest way I can explain it to you. So uh, polyphony or poly. It's basically the number of voices or samples that are playing at a certain time or talk, talking at a certain time. If you have it set to one, only one voice will play at a certain time. Now, uh, it's not necessary to go all the way in there to, to adjust it. You can go in there. You can uh, actually adjust it on the surface of your uh, EXS24 sampler by hitting mono. That means one voice at a time. Probably is the number of voices that play at a time, which is 16. Legato, I'm not exactly sure what it means. Um, I would have to look into my manual, and once I figure it out, I'll let you know. Or if anybody knows what that means, feel free to post it on my page, and I'll put it in, in my more information area. Um, also, you can adjust the random. What random means, I think, is how the sample uh, is played. I guess it goes up and down. The further you have this set. Um, and then you can fine tune your sample. You can actually trans transpose your sample. So say if you had a like an instrument like a tu tuba or a keyboard, basically, uh, you can go up and down with the transposition of the notes. You can adjust the volume on your sampler instrument. You can affect the cutoff, the drive, and the resonance and the key on your on your sampler instrument. You can uh, affect the LFO. Um, click it on or click it off and these are basically waveforms so if you have bass or or any other instrument that you wanted to adjust you can use that um, also to you want to make sure that when you are adjusting your settings in your EXS24 sampler that you save the settings because if you don't the next time that you open that project up or if you should open that same instrument in, the, in another project all your settings that you adjusted on your EXS24 sampler will be lost and you would have to adjust that sound again. Now that's an important tip because if you get that, if you uh, have a certain sound that you like and you don't save the settings on there, those settings could be lost. So please do that because I mean you don't want to mess around and lose something that sounded nice one moment and then have to readjust your settings all over again and find out you can't get that exact same sound. Um, you can also affect the glide and the picture on the uh, EXS24 sampler. And um, 
Yeah, this is a quick little video. That's all I have for today. So if you have any other tips or suggestions, uh, tips, just let me know. Um, that's it. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. You can actually, uh, if you have sample disc from a Kai, like from an NPC or uh, I think these are battery uh, formats. Basically, these are different formats. And if you had a sample disc and you wanted to uh, grab those samples from that certain disc, you just pop it in. Make sure you have Logic opened up, and you can create sample banks in your, your Logic uh, EXS Logic. I mean EXS Twenty Four Sampler. So uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have. If you have any other tips or questions, just shoot me an email.